Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. My name is Elizabeth, and today we're going to be talking about how long it takes to become a millionaire. So a lot of you guys are trying to at least become a millionaire or to have multiple millions. I did do a video recently on trying to have multiple millions and not just limiting yourself to one million, especially if you're in the United States. But today we're going to be talking about how do we get there? How much money do you actually need to invest? And how soon can we become millionaires? Let's do it. All right, so I know I have talked to you guys about expanding your thinking and wanting to be more than a millionaire, but it's actually a lofty goal for a lot of people, especially around the world. The median net worth across the country in the United States is about $192,900. And maybe you're there, maybe you're not there. I could do a video as well on the net worth, the average net worth by age, but honestly, it's not that much. It's not as much as the $192,000. Um, if you are younger in age. And so if you are a long way from a million dollars, you're not alone. And so you want to learn how do we save that much money? Because it's all about how much money you put aside. We talk about millionaires and wealthy people. They live below their means, right? If they make $50,000, they don't spend $70,000. If you make $200,000, you don't spend $250,000 unless you're leveraging debt in an appropriate way, which there are appropriate ways and helpful ways that people do that. I do acknowledge that. But for the typical person and the average American, you don't want to leverage debt like that. And so here are the specific numbers that you need to invest if you want to be a millionaire in a specific amount of time. All right, so if you invest, the key here is to invest your money. You want to invest it because if you just put your money in a savings account, which you guys know I did that when I was younger and I only put it in a savings account, I actually saved a lot of money, but it was never invested, so it didn't grow as much as it could have. But say you save $1,000 every month. And then if you aren't getting any sort of return and it's just in that savings account and it's not in a high yield savings account, definitely check that out. I have a video if you want to check that out. But it will take you a thousand months to save a million dollars, which is over 83 years. So you would have to start when you're so young and saving a thousand dollars. So that's why we say don't just save. You want to get your money working for you and you want to invest. And so if you invest your money, typically the average return in the stock market is about 10%. And so if you do that and you play it safe by investing in a low cost index fund, you will get an annual return of eight to 10% and you will have a million dollars in 25.5 years. So instead of 83 years, it's 25.5 years, which is a huge difference. And so it's the same amount of money, but it's that compound interest. It compounds over time. And so that money you put in, eventually it will add up and add up and add up and it compounds over time, which is so fast. And if you want to learn more about why, I could definitely do a video about that, but just know you have to invest your money to get it working for you. Depending on your income, you can invest more than $1,000 or less than $1,000. And that's what's going to determine how much you're able to make. It's about how much you save and then the return you get on your money, right? We saw that with the $1,000, if you just put it in your savings, then you're not going to get a high return. And so if you put, let's say, $250 a month, then you will become a millionaire in about 41.6 years. If you put $500 a month, you will become a millionaire in 33.3 .3 years. If you put $1,000 a month, you'll be a millionaire in 25.5 years. If you put $2,500, 16.3 years, and then $5,000 every single month, 10.6 years. So you can see the more money that you're able to contribute, you're going to become a millionaire faster. And so that's why earning more, living way more below your means can make a huge difference, right? And that's one reason I'm going to be starting to talk more about how the millionaire fast lane, which I'm going to be recording a video on in just a little bit. So you will be seeing that coming out soon, but it talks about instead of just doing it the slow way, which is great. It's a guaranteed way. You invest a little bit of money. You'll be a millionaire eventually, right? But not everyone just wants to be a millionaire when they die. It at least you don't have to work forever, but you might want to enjoy your life more sooner. So how can you get in that fast lane and do that? So if you're interested in that video, let me know, but I plan on recording it. The key factor is how much time you have, right? So you want to know how much money you're able to put in, what vehicle is it going in, but how much time do you have? Because if you start younger, you're going to have more time for that money to compound and grow. And so if you have people in your life, if you are older, start now. The best time to start is way back then. 
but the second best time is right now, right? They talk about that with planting a tree. And so also you can share this information with your family or with younger kids and help them be more prepared as well. So we could help everybody else. But the more time you have, like Warren Buffett, he started when he was super young. Most of his wealth has been made over the last five, 10 years, which is crazy because he's an older guy, but it takes time to really compound and grow. And if you have enough time, that's why I talk about too, not just having millions of dollars. If you're able to invest $5,000 a month and you're in your twenties um, or late twenties or early thirties, you could have hundreds of millions of dollars by the time you die. If you haven't started investing, start investing now. If you have questions about it, let me know in the comments and I can do a video or I can answer you and try to help. But set up your 401k at work. They have matches that encourages you to contribute. And so that's free money. That's an additional $1,000, 2000 3000 $4,000 to your regular income, which is great. You can also open an individual retirement account, an IRA or a Roth IRA, which I talked about as well, which is a double tax advantaged account. And then you could also open a regular brokerage account with Van Vanguard or Charles Schwab or Fidelity, which are really great brokerages that I highly recommend. We use Vanguard currently, but Fidelity is great as well and Charles Schwab. And you just open a brokerage account. They're not tax advantaged, but still your money will grow and work for you. Just will have to pay taxes, which is part of life. All right. So those were the numbers. That's how long it will take to become a millionaire. Remember that it doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. It takes intentionality. It takes persistence. It takes getting a certain amount of money. It takes living below your means, et cetera, and creating the life that you want to live. So let me know in the comments below if this video was helpful. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for being here. Keep learning, working, and growing, and you've got this. Bye guys.